The education system is failing the majority of its teachers, and in turn, students are failing and teachers are leaving the profession. In this video, I'm breaking down why and what we can do to make education better by finding the root of the problem at your school. When I first started teaching, I was ecstatic to have a job. The long hours, my dwindling bank account, and the constant requests didn't seem like a big deal. I'll take care of it. That was always my response. Now, over 12 years later, my tune has changed. Not because I don't love teaching, but because my eyes, ears, and heart are more aware of the imperfections of our education system. I've become acutely aware of the challenges teachers face and the lack of good teaching practices and limited resources available to support educators in making those sound decisions for their students. After learning and discussing the needs of teachers through contact in person, visiting their classrooms, and by working with them online, I created a visual to represent their needs. This is called the Bridging Literacy Framework. There are three areas that should be addressed to support educators in their career so that they can serve their students to the best of their abilities. Each area has subcategories that digs deeper into what is necessary to help teachers succeed and feel confident in their profession. I'm gonna share the three areas that I have found that teachers need, and I'd love to hear your thoughts. After all, you're the one that's doing the work every single day. Did I miss something? Do I need to expand on something? Be sure to leave a comment and let me know down below. Everything that I share here could be a solution to some of the biggest issues that we have in education. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're gonna talk about is supports. These are the columns to a bridge. It's what grounds the bridge to the water. Every bridge must contain supports that hold the structure to allow passengers to get from one end to the other. These supports will help to keep the bridge stable and structurally sound. It is what the remaining portion of the bridge is built on and without it, the entire system will collapse. In teaching, these supports are necessary to change with the times and needs of students in education and offers a really solid foundation for everything that is done inside of the classroom. These can be broken down into four key areas, knowledge, growth, resources, and support. So let's talk about knowledge. Knowledge is given to teachers through professional development opportunities. These opportunities need to be relevant to the success of students and the initiatives that the school has in place. When time is invested in providing teachers with not only research, but also really good teaching practices that supports that research, that really allows the success of teachers and students. But it doesn't stop there, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about knowledge from this session and how it continues in the support section. Growth is all about the mindset of all teachers in education as it continues to evolve and change. In order to continuously move forward, educators need to have a growth mindset that questions and considers the possibilities for learners. Pushback is inevitable, but when growth in students is not occurring, then educators really need to be open to other possibilities and discuss on how they can improve their practices. Resources are such a struggle. <laughs> These need to be provided to all teachers, not just primary grade teachers, but all grades. And these resources need to be grounded in evidence-based practice and in research. Teachers are need to be able to pull from a variety of these sources to continue learning and provide engaging opportunities for their students. But here's the thing, there's no single core program that's ever gonna fit the needs of all of your students. So educators need to be equipped with the knowledge and the additional resources for pulling these instructional practices that explicitly teach skills to their students. And finally, support is given when needed. This support is offered from all individuals, families, administrators, colleagues, board members, and stakeholders. 
When the support is given to ensure the success of the teacher in the school, students will also continue to grow. Now, remember when we talked about knowledge and the need for professional growth? This is where it's continued in the support, meaning that when new practices are introduced, there is support through meaningful PLCs, coaching opportunities, and so much more that help teachers take what is currently being done and then adjusting that just ever so slightly to make changes in the learning environment. This is only accomplished through a really strong support system. In addition to the supports, the structures of a bridge will really help create stability and is necessary for developing a path for travelers. In teaching, these structures are the systems and processes that help to keep things running smoothly. So this section of the bridge consists of three different areas, systems, feedback, and connection. Systems are built from a school level and inside of a classroom. These systems help the day run smoothly. It gives students routines and procedures to help guide them in their day. But similarly, teachers also need routines and procedures to help guide their work. Whether it be a system that they have created personally, like organizing a morning routine, or a system created by the school, for example, bringing up a student at a data meeting, these systems erase the unknown and give direction and hope to resolution. Feedback is yet another component that needs to be implemented from both a classroom and a school perspective. Teachers need effective systems for feedback because it gives students understanding of where they are in their learning and how are they planning to grow. This is also true for educators. Having a system to give and receive feedback in a school will hold everyone accountable towards the greater purpose of seeing all of their students succeed. The key here is that educators, administrators, and stakeholders need to be willing to listen to that feedback. And finally, connection is all about building community. This is necessary for developing a sense of belonging and fostering an environment that promotes learning. When teachers and students feel connected to the purpose of learning, then open conversations can be had without feelings of being targeted or isolated from the greater community. Connection establishes our why, which then drives everything that we do. The last section that we're gonna talk about for our bridge is called the path. This is arguably the most important part because it's the thing that leads us to our destination. It is the road that we travel on each day and the section we think about constantly. In education, our path makes up our daily life in the classroom. And this consists of three different areas, authenticity, strategies, and engagement. Authenticity is what builds meaning and purpose in our students. When our lessons are authentic, we offer students a why behind the lesson and activities that they're engaging in. This is what drives their learning and it builds connections to their interests and lives. Hopefully, as we've talked about each of these different areas, you are also seeing the connections between various areas within the bridge. Learning is so much more than just memorizing vocabulary words and completing worksheets. Authenticity brings in the connection through discussions, collaborations, projects, and so much more. Strategies is the method in which our lessons are created. These are evidence-based, research-aligned instructional strategies that have been shown to provide students with explicit instruction. These strategies are rooted in science and are proven to work. When we design our lessons to scaffold the learning and give all students access, then we are creating an environment of authenticity and connection. Engagement is created both intrinsically and extrinsically through behavior support systems and collaborative opportunities where students feel like they are a part of the learning process rather than just being parallel to the learning. Engagement doesn't need to be a show but it gets students excited through memorable experiences that enhances their learning. This builds a love of learning rather than a fear of not doing well in class. When all of these areas that are being implemented and they're being done properly, the confidence, happiness, and success of the teachers increases. And when this happens, our students learn. 
Everything in education has a domino effect. And in order to see students succeed, there needs to be attention paid to the success of its teachers. Therefore, it's simple. Well, not so simple, but you get the point. The problem with education can be any one of these areas that I've shared, but at its whole, it's due to the fact that its teachers are not given the supports, structures, and path to feeling successful in the classroom. So what do you think? This has been something that I've been thinking about for over two years now, and I'm so excited to be able to share the final result with you. I would love if you would comment down below if you feel comfortable sharing just what your school specifically needs more support with. And I just love to hear from you. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will be back next time. Bye.